multi-table incremental loading into the Azure Data Factory. Here, my source is SQL Server. This SQL Server has the bulk of tables, and my destination is Azure Data Lake Generation 2. So here, I'm planning to create a pipeline. That pipeline is trying to connect the source system and to take the bulk of tables updates and uh, inserting the new records. Here, we are trying to move this uh, data into the from source to the target. Here, I'm designing the pipeline. The pipeline having the multiple activities. The very first activity is lookup activity. This lookup activity trying to get the metadata information from the SQL Server. This metadata having the all your SQL Server details like the table name, schema name, and whether this table is active or not, delta column, and last process value. So this information lookup activity actually hand over to the for each activity. This for each activity. Um, taking the information from the lookup activity and iterating the one by one table. Inside for each activity, I'm gonna take one more uh, lookup activity to get the maximum timestamp from the each and every table. Next, I'm gonna take the copy activity. This copy activity having the source and destination detail. Here source is SQL Server, destination is data lake generation tool. Here I'm gonna write the one dynamic expression. The dynamic expression actually, um, trying to verify the source timestamp greater than destination timestamp. Next, next activity store procedure activity. This store procedure activity trying to update the, whatever the last processed value column, which is available into the metadata table, that last processed value column updates actually store procedure going to, will take care of it. Okay, for achieving uh, this lab, right, we need a um, source and destination lab. Here we need to uh, design a pipeline, the pipeline having this set of activities. This set of activities going to um, helps to achieving the incremental load logic into the Azure Data Factory.